What's up, y'all? It's your girl Lex P. And it's your girl Drea Nicole. And we are back with another episode of Wine Down, Down Wednesday. Wednesday. As you can see, we still being ghetto and hood as fuck. Drinking out of our champagne glasses. Okay, wine but glasses. you got a problem. Why you ain't gonna buy one? Cause right? I have wine, wine glasses, boo. I got wine glasses. It don't matter, but we over here. So okay, I, well. You got a problem. I don't got no problem. Got a problem it's a cup. Seat. It's a cup. Period. It's a cup. Anyway. It's a the, champagne flute. Girl, anyway. <laughs> so, y'all know I say this every week, but we actually do have a lot to talk about this week once again. And I have a lot to Child. say. And you know what? I hate to do this, but I feel like I gotta drag my ladies again this week. Why you gotta drag them? <sighs> we gonna get to that. So let's just go ahead and get straight the motherfuck into it. So, did you see first, we're gonna start talking about, about Jill Scott, as we all know. Did you, see, see Jill. did you see the Jill Scott video, first of all? I did. I did. Okay, so if you didn't see the Jill Scott video, she was all sucking dick and grabbing, not real dick, it was air dick, okay? It was, it was a Casper dick. dick. So grabbing the balls and nut on her face, she wipe said. it off, licked it up. So, before we get really, really into it, what did you think about the video? I thought it was a lot. Right. But from my understanding, from what I've heard, like I've never been to a Jill Scott show, but mm -hmm. from my understanding, like, you know, she like acts out. She does that like, life. so it's not. Yeah, so it's not like nothing different for her. Right. Well, this is what I have to say about it. First of all, it, it was a little weird because I always looked at Jill Scott like my auntie. I like she's, a, she's like auntie vibe. Have you listened to her music? I mean, she yeah, she gets nasty, but to, it's the difference. Like, I can talk to my mom about sex, but I don't want to see her doing something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the same thing. I get it, but I never looked at Jill Scott as an auntie. She's always been kind of sexual to me. So. Yeah, um, it was just weird, but I help but to think. Everybody was embracing it. They thought it was funny. They were like, go Jill. But imagine what if somebody like Nicki Minaj did that? Y'all would have dragged her to high hell. You know, I know I would have. I don't think so. I think so. I don't because Nicki Minaj is very sexual as well. Yeah, she is. But I feel like people would be like, oh, you trying too hard. You 36. I don't think she was this. trying too hard. If anything, I feel like she was giving the girl some tips. Exactly. Y'all needed that little lesson. Okay, and so speaking of giving them the tips, why the fuck did everybody feel the need to, oh yeah, you bitches talking about she not doing it right. I, I, when I suck dick, the nigga ass crack be all wet. Okay, how the fuck was she supposed to act out licking the ass spray? Well, no, I'm just saying she's supposed to do this. I hate when, what I tell y'all about putting out y'all's motherfucking resume on everything. Right, we don't care to hear about how you suck dick just because Jill Scott is sucking dick. Because this ain't about you, boo. This is not about you. I feel like pick, the pick me's were added a fucking gin, and that's why I said I have to get on my girl's ass this week. When are they not at it? They always fucking do that. I don't give a fuck about how you suck dick. Like, who are you trying Impressed when you a pick me, do you feel like oh one day you like oh I'm not gonna be a pick me today? No, them hoes is pick me's every day. But I'm I pick don't. me, pick me. <laughs> but what's the fucking logic? What is the logic behind that? Like what do you get? Well, I couldn't tell you because I'm not a pick me. But I'm just saying like what would you get from telling the timeline? I know I got good pussy. I know my head is good. Okay, mom, cool. But what did you get out of that? Well, I think that's corny anyway because I feel like if your pussy and your head is really good, you ain't talking about it on social media. Oh. Being about it in real life. So, do you think you have good head and good pussy? Do you? I'm Bobby Bobby. Okay, so. Like Master P in the 90s. Right, so if somebody, like, if you seen somebody giving bad head on the timeline, would you feel the need to be like, no, I'd probably just laugh. I'd probably, I'd probably be like, bitch, and just laugh. Right, it's corny. But it's I wouldn't corny. be like, oh, I give head better than that. You're supposed to do this and you're supposed to do that. And you know what? This is the same shit they did with motherfucking Black China. When Black China came out with that video and she was giving bad head, bitches was like, they had the Black China Challenge, and bitches was actually posting videos of them sucking dick. Like, why? Why are we like this, ladies? Let's come together and be on the same fucking why page. Y'all like this, cause we ain't like this. Okay, okay. So let us know what y'all think about the Jill Scott video and how y'all feel about bitches putting out their resume on how to suck dick. And fellas, 
Let me ask you this. Are you impressed when a woman puts out her resume for the timeline? Like, oh, I cook, I clean, I suck dick, I wash your car, I clean your feet. Like, do you like when women do shit like that? Because I need to know. Because the men was wilding over the video. They, they were that. loving me. I, have ne I mean, I've seen people say they are attracted to Jill Scott, but I've never seen it on this level. Like, niggas was with it. But I feel like Jill Scott is a very attractive She baby. is. She's like beautiful. She's beautiful as fuck. And like, yeah, she a BBW, but she's beautiful. I'm dead. <laughs> No, she is okay. I'm not doing her. Like you acting like I'm not speaking facts to the common person. She's a she's BBW. A BBW. Well, Drake, Drake likes that. He does. He liked them to suck him dry and eat some lunch with you. <laughs> First of all, he said it, and that's what she was doing on that video. Okay, like she was sucking a nigga. She was. Dry. Do you think she was like? Do you think she gets drunk before she gets on stage? Do you think she was like? Do I think she get drunk? Do you not see the videos? She be Bruh. posting on social media since be lit. That's she like, I thought we be getting drunk on here. Liddy. Sis gets motherfucking lit. Sis be litty. So let, let us know what y'all think about that, the video. And we gonna move on to the next topic. We now, are. this actually really hurts me to talk about this. Exactly. I'm actually emotional even bringing this fucking up. So, um, y'all know we are huge fans of the City Girls. Fans, um, Our good sis, Young Miami from the City Girls. Girl she went, coming out Friday. She did a interview with the Breakfast Club, right? I know, yeah. So, a long, not a long time ago, but a few months ago, people pulled up old tweets where she was like, I would beat my son if I found out he was gay. Right. They was dragging her to the high hill. She sent out an apology. She said she was sorry and the tweets were old and blah, blah, blah. So she decides to go on Breakfast Club and say the same thing she tweeted. If my son was gay, I just said I don't want my son to be gay and I would beat his ass if he was gay. It's just like when your mama beat your ass for being bad or something and you doing something that she don't like. My good sis. Mm -hmm. My good sis. If I saying what you feel but sometimes you need to keep your fucking mouth shut young Miami and this is coming from my good sis me so this to my good from sis. A, 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 love. a love like why would you say that because you have to realize a lot of your fan base is gay men they niggas boys. is not listening to city girls city like that boys. Like it's females saying. and gay men that's listening to your shit. So you just offended a whole group of people that's not going to want to fuck with you because you want to be stupid and trying to prove your point of what you said. What you said was stupid the first time and it was even stupider the second time because you already apologized for it. I feel like it was stupid, but at the same time, I feel like, hey, you going to say some shit, stand behind what you said, and that's what she did. Right, but she apologized for people. it. I feel like she only apologized because she was getting so much backlash. But I feel well, you like, shouldn't apologize but I feel for like it. what she said on the Breakfast Club was not that bad. All she didn't say, she said, I don't have an issue with gay people. She just don't want her son to be gay. Okay, that's just I feel like, like if that's her, okay, let me finish. I feel like if that's her personal preference and she does not want her son to be gay, she don't want her son to be gay. She don't have no issue with gay people. If you gay, she basically was just saying, if you're a gay man, I don't have no issue with you. Cool. I just don't want my son to be gay. I not, and I feel like that. nothing is wrong with it. I, I see that, where you're coming from. Feels. But this is just like I'm people, not saying that's how I feel. No, 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 no. Okay, cool. But what I'm saying is that's just like a motherfucker being like, I hate niggers. Oh, but I'm not racist because I have black friends. Oh, I have. I, she was like, I got gay. My stylist is gay. My person that does my hair is gay. This person is gay. I, I'm not homophobic. I just don't. So what is it? But if you don't mind that two hoes, no. Man, about the whole ish, the whole situation on the breakfast club. Charlemagne asked her about it. I don't feel like she would have talked about it if he didn't ask her about it. Well, yeah. Okay, so he asked her about it. So she stated her opinion. I feel like just because people had an issue with what she said, that doesn't mean that her opinion on this is going to change. That's how she feels. Whether she was 21, now she's 24, she still feel like she don't want her damn son to be gay. She don't want her son to be gay. Why the fuck is people trying to put this on her to be like, oh, you have to be, like, if your son wants to be gay, you should be, if she's not okay with that, she not okay with That's that. That's cool, but you can't. And it's like, her not okay with their kids being thieves and shit, like, the but that's not the same thing. You choose to be a fucking thief. You don't choose to be gay, like, bro. You don't feel like them? No, you cannot help who you're attracted to. I don't choose that I'm attracted to big, big niggas with money. Oh, I didn't choose that shit. I didn't want this life. This life chose me. 
Okay? Niggas don't fuck. Nigga, people do not choose if they're gay. So you either are cool with people being gay or you're not. Whether it's your son, your best friend, or whatever. You either cool with it or you not. So, because she was contradicting everything she was saying. Oh, I'm cool with it if it's my homeboy, but not if it's my son. So are you cool with it or are you not, mom? You either, it's black and white, it's no gray area. And she sounded very ignorant. I, I, can, I, can, understand, I, can, I can understand why some people would think she sounded ignorant. I do understand that. But at the same time, I just feel like at the end of the day, people have their preferences. Right. When it comes to anything. And we cannot, we have to stop making people feel bad for feeling how they feel about something. Like, yeah, okay, a lot of the things people say are gonna offend people. Right. Even if it's not related to the LGBT community. Right. You know, people say things all the time in general that offend certain groups of people. But just because it offends somebody, should you not feel how you feel? No, no, I would agree with we that. But America. saying that you would beat your we son. in America, we have freedom of speech. But to say you but would beat your son. Said, and she said that, she, like, like, when your mama say she gonna beat your ass for doing some shit and she don't really beat your ass, she was saying it was just a figure of speech. So I feel like, why are we being so hard on her? At the end of the day, this girl is 24 years old. So, so, okay. All so, right. okay. So let's know what y'all think about it. Well, I'm not about to do, cause that's my least easy. I mean, y'all know, y'all know about about to drag, but y'all know about to drag young Miami. I think, but at the, but at the same time, I'm also not. you're in the spotlight. You're an upcoming artist, and you're trying to win new artists. Come out, you're trying to win people over. You need some media training, uh, Coach K and uh, Lil P. Make that happen for your girl, because this ain't what's up. That's ain't what's up. I understand that, but I just feel like at the end of the day, like this girl, you is have young, to be likable. Okay, and I. I feel like she's trying her hardest to be likable, but at the end of the day, but okay, but everybody not gonna like you. Period. Period. You can try your hardest to be likable. Everybody don't like Nikki. Everybody don't like Cardi B. And these people have been out way longer than Young Mike. But that's what I fuck with you. Yeah, but you you're not but, fuck but, with but guess you. what? They're not gonna fuck with you. Right. And but they don't like Cardi B and Nikki off of just personal preference. They're not out okay. here offending whole groups of people. Okay. They're not doing that. Okay. Forget, like not forgetting, but this is like again. This is some tweets and some shit that she said before she ever even. I'm not talking about the tweets. I'm talking about her going on the Breakfast Club. Fuck them tweets. I done tweeted some whole ass shit. I'm talking about why would you apologize for something when you didn't mean it? Now you look and I feel like she probably felt pressure to apologize. We, do you not think what? that the label? Do, what? Do you not think that? But the they should have prepped. Then why did they prep for the interview to say the same thing? Y'all need to be on the same motherfucking page. If she apologized, then tell her, okay, when they ask you about this, if they ask you about this, you need to be prepared. Honey. I agree. I agree, but maybe she also just wasn't sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Well, then don't do it. If you was, if you was pressured to say sorry the first time, you should And again, I'm not standing with Young Miami and her beliefs because that's not my beliefs. I don't have no problem with gay people. I feel like if I have a son, I mean, you and gay. Her, I, t- I am. I mean, I'm not gay, but I do like women. I fuck with women, so I feel like if I do have a son or a daughter and she turns out or he turns out and they like the same sex, I'm not gonna bash them for that. I'm still gonna love them the same. Amen. At the end that's of the beautiful. day, you can't. Because at the end of the day, you can't do anything to change it. If that's yes. what your child is and that's what they gonna be, you just have to let them live their life. That's the same thing as like. If I like, for example, with me, if I was to get, if I would have got pregnant at eighteen, <gasps> my mom wouldn't have had no say so over there if I decided to have that baby because I was a grown ass woman. Mm-hmm. She just would have had to stand with me and still love me for who I am and support right. me for my decisions. So that's how I'm gonna be with my kids. But at the same time, I can't force everybody, and I also don't have kids yet, so I can't force everybody to have my same beliefs and raise their children how I feel like I would raise my children. I feel like her beliefs is her beliefs. She not wrong for how she no, knows. and I agree. You can never that. tell somebody that they wrong for how and they I'm feel. Not I'm not saying a fine that, in but it. it's not about what you say; it's how you say it. For you to say. And even though it's a figure of speech, it just comes off offensive. And then to be, and then to try, to try to defend what you said by saying, "I got gay friends," that doesn't mean you're okay with people being uh, being homo, being homos, or being gay, or being lesbian, or whatever you want to write. Right. That doesn't make it okay. Like I just feel like the interview was okay for the most part, but she needs some media training. Period. So she definitely, but we know she needs.
is media training. Let's be honest, she's only been a celebrity, quote unquote, for about six months. Because the right. first five, six months that CD Girls was out, wasn't nobody fucking with them, wasn't nobody standing for them, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. us. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Not just us, but it wasn't a lot of people who was fucking with the CD Girls until the Drake, the song with them and Drake came out. But I will then say, was like, they literally became an overnight celebrity, so she definitely needs media training, which I do feel like that's something that QC is gonna get her. But she, um, I'm not gonna lie, they she lost a lot of people with that one. Yeah. A lot of people was, I mean, she still they still got a lot of people lost. She got new fans coming next. Okay, so let us know what y'all think about it. Because I just feel comments. like people be too, people be too emotional. People be taking too much shit personally when they don't know you personally. Yeah, but like, let me say it, something. But if I was a gay person, that shit would offend me because I'm like I'm gay. That's offensive to me. If somebody said I don't fuck with black people, that's gonna offend me. But she didn't say she don't fuck with them. That's what I'm getting so upset for because you keep trying to come from a point of view. She did not say that. I'm saying how we say she don't want her kids to be gay. Because she don't fuck with that shit. Because she don't fuck with it. Not because she don't fuck with it. She don't want her son to be gay. Maybe she she doesn't fuck with it. Okay, oh my god. Okay. All right. Period. Okay. Period. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cause this is stupid. Next, what's the next topic? Anyways, <laughs> so let us know what y'all think about Young Miami and her little comments about the gay community. And if y'all are gay, let us know how y'all feel. Personally. Yeah, we we definitely want to know how. And we need somebody full blooded gay, cause she just half gay. Bitch, please. Okay, at the end of the day, though, I do. And that's what I'm saying. So because of that, I do understand people that discriminate against that. Like when some, like I done ran into girls, I done ran into people that be like, oh, I think that she nasty or that shit this and this and this when females fuck with females and males fuck with males okay well i like pussy Ooh. and i like dick Ooh. so who are you to tell me that i'm wrong or who are you to tell me that just because i'm a woman i shouldn't like pussy right. like i like what i like right. i right. genuinely have interest in females she genuinely likes to eat that nookie i do wow. so and i like to get mine all out. right by a fellow, <laughs> by so, a fellow agree with you and I do stand with you on that but I don't touch me (laughs) she upset oh you don't want to upset so I do but I do feel like yeah I feel like at the end of the day we have to stop trying to to push our own beliefs on other people people are raised how they raise people have their own opinions we're raised to be an individual that's her individual opinion and we should let that be that I do feel like she need media training though and she needs to learn to not necessarily say how she feels about everything because it's a difference between People respecting your opinion and understanding where you coming from and then understanding when's the proper time mm-hmm. to say things and when's the proper time to not say things. Right. Now you in the spotlight, you a celebrity. Sometimes it's not the proper time just because you feel this way about right. something to say that you feel this way. Right. Okay, so yeah, just let us know what y'all yeah. think about that topic and we gonna move on to the relationship topic. Mm-hmm. I love... Actually, I can't wait for the bed. <laughs> okay, but I no, I'm just saying I love this topic for this week because this is just it's a lot for me. Okay. This is something that you know we have both gone through, and I'm pretty sure you women and some men can relate to. So women and men, how do you feel when you meet somebody? Mm-hmm. Y'all cool, he fine, you fine, conversation is fire, and I'll say it from like a woman's point of view, and the man lets you know, hey. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm feeling you, and I've been liking you for a while. But I got a girl. Like I'm, in, I'm, I'm involved. Feeling you. Like, I'm how would you? Like, how would you handle that? Like, as a woman, if he was keeping it real, he was keeping it straight. Ooh, up. Call me up, cause baby. How, how how would you handle that? Okay, so you know, y'all know I'm in my mid twenties now. Mm-hmm. When I was younger, I would say probably from like the age of like eighteen to like twenty four. Fucking with a nigga who had a bitch was completely off the table. I wasn't doing it. Uh oh. I just wasn't doing it. Cause I felt like the fuck, like. <laughs> let's talk about what the now. Man. Okay, so let's talk about. <laughs> you said 18 to 24. I'm like, hmm, sis, where we going? Right. This where we going. This where we headed. So I feel like now that I'm a little older, it's just kind of like. <sighs> This is gonna get ugly. Who it is? It's I can feel it. I know, girl. You know, you can, I can feel the comments coming. I know. So I just feel, but I'm being honest with y'all because I fuck with y'all. So I feel like one thing about me and Lex, we gonna always be transparent with y'all. So um, I recently 
this honestly, to be honest, it's probably the first time that in my life that, that you I dealt with a man with a girlfriend. Right. So like recently, I had a situation where I met a guy and he was like really fine. Oh. Like, not too. Hold long. on, time out, y'all. When I tell y'all this nigga so motherfucking fine. I'm telling you, I was like, when I seen him the first time, I said, hey, Dre, I'm not gonna lie to you. If you don't talk to this nigga, she was the one who showed me who he was first. I said, look, bitch, you got four motherfucking days. You said this last week, bitch. I, I gotta let them But I guess she gotta let y'all know y'all gotta find him. This nigga is so fine. I said, if you don't fuck Like, he's fine, fine. Like, the epitome of, like, Ooh. when you think of a fine nigga, like, this nigga fine. Like, he's suave. Chocolate, tall, he got tattoo. He not chocolate. He he's like chocolate. He's like caramel. He got like he's a nice little dog. He's a little. He's like my little butter pecan. He got a ten. My little butter pecan. Oh, you got a ten to your man. Okay. He got a ten. So but not your man. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he like tall. He got hella tattoos. So get get to the situation. Beautiful. Get to the situation. What made you be like I'm okay? Okay, so let me tell y'all what happened. So you know, I me and him started texting. We started communicating. Um. It was just supposed to be casual. Wait, so did you fuck him before you knew he had a girlfriend? I did. I did. So it was just supposed to be a casual situation. Like, he's like, okay, we fucking with each other. I like you. You fine. You think I'm fine. We just fucking. And the sex was great. Okay, so he started liking me more than he thought he was going to anticipate liking me. And then he just felt like he had to let me know because it's kind of like we were in a situation where... You know, I needed to know. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say what the situation was. But yeah, you need to know. But we were in a situation where I needed to know because I could run into the girlfriend. Woo! I thought I took a shot at him with that one. (laughs) So he was just like, yeah, I really like you. He was like, and I'm fucking with you. And I didn't think I was going to like you like this. But I want you to know that I have a girlfriend. Like, well, not a girl. This is what he said. He said, I have a situation. And basically, basically he lived with a bitch. Basically, he still lived with her, but he claimed they're not together. Hmm. So I was just kind of like, wow. So like. But that dick is immaculate. So you kept fucking with him. So I kept fucking with him. So, but what was your logic behind because still he fucking told, him? Because he told me he wasn't fucking with her like that. And I'm going to be honest, I had a situation. Oh! So fuck y'all some chills. But I wasn't in a relationship. But I did have a situation where mm-hmm. I was fucking with somebody. And mm-hmm. me and this person had been fucking with each other for a minute. But then I'm going to keep it 100. That person that I was fucking with had a situation. So, so, so do you so, think it's okay to fuck with a person who has a significant other? So you think people shouldn't fuck with people? I don't think it's okay. But I just feel like sometimes once you start fucking with somebody and then you find out that they have a situation, it's hard to cut it off. Mm. But I don't feel like it's okay. Right. Because I've always been against that because I don't want somebody, let's be real, all these niggas cheat. We know that all of them cheat. Right. But if I'm in a relationship with a man, I wouldn't want him stepping out on me and then catching feelings for somebody right, else. Because right. it's a difference between stepping out on your bitch and you fuck a bitch one time, maybe and two times. And developing a relationship. Nah, you fuck a bitch maybe one time, maybe two times, and it's just some cool shit that you don't fuck with that hot no more, then you move on to the next hole. Okay, whatever. That's your business as long as I don't find out about it. But for you to have a whole relationship with somebody, because I'm not going to lie to y'all, me and this person was spending a lot of time. Was. Eels. I'm just playing. We oh. were. It, it was an old situation. It's no longer going on. All right. R. But R.I.P. But <laughs> we were spending a lot of time together, so it's kind of like I feel like that's fucked up. If you are still in a situation with another person, and then you meet a new person, and you having feelings for them, and you spending time with them, like he was inviting me to do shit that, is, to be honest, okay. he should have been inviting that bitch to do. Right. Okay. So I'll say this. So from my situation, it's completely well, not completely different, but it ain't that different. I mean. But let them know. Let them know the the, the backstory. Um, as much as you can, because I know the backstory. Let them know as much as you can. Oh, hold on, wait. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yo. <laughs> okay. So this actually. Well, I'm gonna keep it one minute with y'all because I have kind of like two situations. One okay, kind of Let's talk about both of them. But okay. So for the first situation, I had met this guy about two years ago. I I've been knowing him for years. Nigga been cool for years. Cool ass nigga, but I don't know, one day we met at a day party and shit was lit. He was drunk, I was drunk. We ended up talking and I was supposed to be his rebound because him and his girl had just broke up and 
it just happened, it just so happened that we hit it off and we ended up, you know, now the first time we fucked around, mm -hmm. he was completely single. Things didn't pan out because I did some whole ass shit. <laughs> I went to Paris. That's uh, some whole ass shit. And but you know, so why was that whole ass shit? Because like, wasn't together. No, I mean we wasn't together, but like I was fucking with him tough, but I was just being a uh, canine. Young, young, wild and young wild and free. Young wild and free. So we stopped fucking around and then you know, Lord, we got brought back together. And mm -hmm. it's like a situation where, you know, he lives with his significant other, mm -hmm. but they're not together, like the same thing with yours. Mm -hmm. But it's just like things get messy. Things get messy. And it's like, you don't know what to believe. And luckily that situation didn't get messy for me, but it could have gotten Right. Me. So I would say with that situation, it's a little different because um, um, well, also you have to throw in to there. You have to also be like, y'all live in different states. Yeah, we live in different states. So yeah. it's like, it's kind of like, it could get messy. It could get messy, but it's really, it, it really, that situation I would say is not as bad. It's yeah. a little, but this new, I'll, I'll talk about the new situation. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, I haven't been in like, guy fine as fuck i guess he been wanting to talk to me or whatever but he never really said nothing. he really chill grip fine as fuck mm. fine as fuck like oh my god super fine but slid in my knee and like, oh god me and i you know when i saw his picture i said i know he got hella hoes i was like and he i was like he prime real estate he 31 no kids making good god. money fine. oh god so when we started texting, mind you, this nigga is cool as fuck, y'all. Like, I, now y'all know I'm goofy, and it's hard for me to give my personality to people because a lot of times people don't get it, but he just gets my humor. Like, it's cool. We don't even talk that. It ain't even no serious. Wait, it ain't even no serious situation. I'm confused. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I, okay, I it's okay. It's okay. You know, but you, I mean, I don't talk about it much because it ain't nothing like that. Oh, so it's not the, the it's not my nigga. No, 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 no. My bro, it's no, not my bro, no, my bro. it's not your bro, your bro. Okay. So basically, uh, he lives, you know, far away or whatever, but he was like, I ain't gonna lie, you cool as fuck, you fine as fuck, but I'm keeping real with you, like, I got, I'm in a relationship. Right. And I was like, well, damn, I said this from the jump, I was like, I'm not fucking with you, you got a girlfriend, but I'm not gonna lie, bitch, I, I catch myself, like, texting him, when he texts me, I respond, like, it's bad, but he just so fucking cool, like, and I'm not, I'm not gonna get involved with him. Let me say that. I'm not gonna get involved with him. But he lives really far away. Oh, bitch, but it's so hard. hard. It's hard because when niggas be so cool and I be like, damn, is you really happy though? <laughs> is you really happy, daddy? Cause I can make you happy. I'm just saying, bro, like it be hard. I mean, but I'm not gonna lie. Like, okay, so let's talk about it. A, like a situation I have going on right now. I was fucking with a nigga first. Mm -hmm. Then he started fucking with somebody else, and it kind of was like public, right? But it's like, are you really happy though? Are you really happy because though? you still fucking with me? So it's like, am I wrong for still fucking with that person? Right. Because I just kind of feel like, at the end of the day, me and you got a bond, and we got a relationship, yeah. and nobody can ever come between it. That's why we Ooh. still fuck with each other. Ooh. It don't matter what it look like to the. And when I say public, I mean like. Super this public. is a super public situation. But it's like me and this nigga got a bun and we been having a bun. So it's just kind of like, that's my It's hard. It's like sometimes when you fuck with it's people, hard. it's like, hard. And so we are not telling our stories and venting. Yeah. Let us know how y'all, because I'll say this. I do not like fucking with niggas with girlfriends because it gets messy, especially when feelings get involved. And I'm not going to lie. This person I'm talking about, the second situation, I don't have feelings for him at all. But he's cool as fuck. And you know how you can like, damn, I see something. And does and it you, matter? And what I also want to know from you guys too is like, does it matter the basis of what the relationship is like built on? Like, cause for example, like with the situation we, what I'm talking about right now, it's just kind of like, I know this situation ain't genuine. I know what we got is genuine. Right. But I know what, what they got going on, it might be a little genuine because over time you start to build feelings. Right, 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 right. But do I feel like how it started was genuine? No, I feel like it was just, it was uh, beneficial for both parties. Right. Well, with this situation that I'm in, I don't know nothing about their relationship, their situation, right. but I'm like, to me in the back of my mind, I'm just thinking like, how happy can you be? Because I know right. how happy I can make you. But I don't, I'm not, I will never act on You're it. You're lying. I, no, I'm not. I'm not going to act on it. Lily. I'm not. I'm being dead ass serious. I don't send this. I could have been sending this nigga news. I could have 
could have been on FaceTime fucking this nigga head up. If I really wanted to fuck the nigga head up, I could, but I'm not doing that because I'm not crossing that line. But I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I do want to be friends with him because he's just that cool of a person. Like, I could see do you. Are you thinking about seeing, like, have you ever met him in person? Uh, no, it's just been like, so are you thinking about seeing him in person? I mean, like, if he come to Atlanta, like, we can go but have then, some drinks. And, okay, but then, then if he come to Atlanta and y'all have drinks, what do you think I'll have? Nothing, because I'm not cross. Let me stop lying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, because I'm not okay. trying to be funny. Why? Wow, this is terrible. It's terrible, but it's this like, we other terrible. seen this. But I one thing about me and you, and I'm gonna be honest, like we be on here and we kind of just be letting the girls and the boys have it. But it's also shit we're that we, we're human, and this is shit that real people be dealing with. I just feel like it's hard once you build a connection with somebody to just not act on it because of the fact that they might have had. It's hard sometimes because when a nigga keep it real with you and be like, "Hey, I got a girl," you can only respect that, and sometimes that makes you like him even more. I hate to say that, but I'm just keeping it 100 with y'all. It does, right and it's like it's fucked up, but it's like my pussy just get wet. Ooh, but a nigga keep it real, and I want to pay your bills. Ooh. I just be like, wow. Look, I'm not gonna lie. Like with the situation that I had going on, like not that, like a while ago. I'm not gonna say not that long ago. A while ago, it was just like he fucked with. He he told me that he had the girl living with him, and I just. He kept it real with you though, so you had but no choice. Also, but y'all had, 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 had already fucked at that point. We had already fucked at that point, and then you also had just told the people how fine he was. Oh, and a snack. A snack. Mm. Like a real snack. Not even trying to prank. So, me and the dick was like fire. a mess. But see, in my situation, we haven't fucked. We have, it ain't been nothing, but I'm like, this. sometimes people just be so Sometimes cool. it be a mind fuck. It's a mind fuck. And then the nigga, like, he's so cool. It be like a mental I understand it be a mental thing, because that's how I feel like it was with, like, the 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 last nigga that I was fucking with, the right. one I was talking about with right, him, right. who I was fucking with him first, then he got a girlfriend, whatever, whatever. Like me and him really had like a bond. We had a mental like stimulation. And I'll say this, that's how we still fuck with each other to this. And day. I know people, especially women that are in relationships, are probably watching. It's like, oh, y'all just some side bitches. Don't get it twisted. No, I'm a relationship type girl. I'm literally always in a relationship. I'm not so sure. I've been cheated on. I know how that feels, but sometimes you just can't help it. So this is what I have to say about it. I always ask y'all. Let me let me say what I have to say. I guess because it's pertaining to my situation. Like my homeboy, look, look, Cass sitting in the back. Our right homeboy, here. look, Cass, come Cass, say hi. Cass said, do not let Cass, your girl you come say hi. Get, he said, do not let your girlfriend stand in the way of your true love. He did say that. He said, don't let a nigga girlfriend stand in the way of y'all bond. And I agree. And this is coming from a man. It's just like sometimes people just not meant to be. And I'm not about to miss out on my blessing because of you, ho. <gasps> wow. So I and I'm trying not to act on it. Like I said, I'm gonna just leave it at that. So let us know what y'all think. I think it's wrong. It's wrong. But then what's but really ever so wrong? wrong? What's really ever wrong? Who the, who was the person? Who was the person that says this is wrong? Bitch, you know right? that's wrong. Shut the fuck How up. How I know? Because it's wrong when you're in a relationship. You're supposed to be with one person, right? When you right married. Now. You supposed to be with one person. Now she got the little uh, the loophole. When you, I honestly feel that way when you're married. My, but even my mom told me this, and this is all some real shit. Shout out to my mama, my. Shout out to my mama because she a shout real bitch. Shout out to little Barb. Shout out to my mom because she a real bitch. She even told she me. Don't call her mama a bitch. Because she is a real bitch. I didn't say she's a bitch. She just. Oh my <laughs> anyway, god. Anyway, okay. Anyway, my mom is real as fuck. My mom told me. She said, as far as my daddy go, like she was like, okay, in the past, Papa like was a Rolling Stone. Papa was. Song. But my mama said when they first started dating, my daddy had friends. Right. And they would go out to the club and shit together. And he would introduce her to his friends. My mom said as long as he introduced her, she didn't have no issues with it. But my mom also said before they got married and became committed, she did not care if he had other people he was cool with. That was not her concern. Okay. Now, once you make that commitment and you say them vows in front of God, that's some whole other shit. Okay. I feel like she wildin' for that, too, because just if you made some vows, don't mean the niggas still ain't gonna dip and dabble. Oh, trust but, me, because it be most of the niggas that be in our DMs. But my, mom, but my mom is a little more old school, so she just said she didn't have no issue with my daddy having friends and having people that he was cool with. 
Right. Okay, so we're going we to end this topic because we've been on this for a minute. We have. So let us know what y'all think of ladies that are in relationships. How do you feel about your nigga kind of dipping out and having a connection with somebody? And men who do this, like, how do y'all just feel about people messing with another person that's in a relationship, period? Fact. So I'm going to touch on this next topic real quick. I really don't even want to be long because I feel Me like either, cause this these girls are dumb. Okay, so um, I was tagged in a video and basically I'm going to give y'all a quick little summary of the video. It was basically two girls, like how we are right now, talking on the couch, talking about shit that's going on with them. So basically one girl was saying that she was in a talking stage with this guy. They had been texting and she wanted to know what the dude was about. So she let her phone bill, she let her phone get turned off because she didn't pay her bill. Because she wanted to see if old boy was going to pay her bill. Now people with phone bills, we know that ow, our phone, look at you. our phone bill, our phone bill only is like what, a hundred, maybe a hundred and fifty dollars, okay? So she let her phone turn off to see if this nigga was gonna pay I her bill. Broke, broke. So the nigga didn't pay her bill. He just started messaging her on Instagram was like, damn, that's fucked up, that's sorry. That, you know what I'm saying? So the re only reason I'm talking about this, cause I had like a, a few people tag me in this like, oh, Lex P, you would've cut that nigga off. You would've let him know, first of all, Y'all bitches got it confused. I don't know what y'all have taken from me and Drea speaking to y'all. You don't know what they taken from you because they didn't say me. They say you. Oh, but I'm saying, but I'm more interactive. No, I First ain't about all, it, about no, it. but I'm more interactive. I'm, I'm more interactive with people. That's why. You could be more interactive with people. Anyway, no, I don't even they was it. tagging me, but they when they speak about, when they speak to me, they speaking to you as well, period. No, the fuck they not. Anyway, so they was tagging me like, oh, legs, y'all wouldn't have had this, y'all wouldn't have. Nigga for some fucking chump change. A uh, like uh, a phone bill ain't shit. That's why these niggas don't want to do shit because y'all be asking for fucking pennies. Fucking a pennies. Bill? A phone bill. You gonna when let you your fucking phone turn off? You got rent. You got businesses that you want to fund. Why are you get a sneaky life? You trying to go get sneaky life phone when you asking for a phone? A phone bill because you trying to test the nigga. We grown. Ask for what you want. I ain't never said let your phone turn off the test. I never told y'all no game. Baby, I, we don't put y'all on so much fucking game. Bitches need tummy tucks and y'all asking for phone bills? Bruh. I am disappointed. I am, di I am, you know what? I am disgusted and you hoes cannot be trusted. I done told y'all time and time again to get what you can and get what you need out these niggas, but a phone bill shouldn't be a need. If, I, that, if that's a need for you, then you're not on the level that me and Dre are speaking of. Let's well, get on it. I'm gonna say this. Me and you and Cass was talking about this earlier, and I even talked um, about this to somebody else that I know recently, and it's just like, if somebody asks you for, okay, so if you fucking with a bitch, say you a nigga, you fucking with a bitch, she asks you for $20. Or say your homegirl asks you for $20. For somebody to ask you for $20, mm -hmm. that mean you really broke. You down bad. Cause bad. I'm never gonna ask somebody for $20. If I'm asking you for some money, I'm gonna ask you for like 500, a thousand. Yeah. I ain't gonna ask you for $20. Yeah. If I need $20, that mean I'm on my last. I prefer to ask you for 500 so you can go ahead and give me that and then I can flip the other four. Right, 80. I can make something happen. I can make something shake with that 480. Oh, but if I'm asking you for 20, that mean you broke, broke. And honestly, bitches don't be realizing that turn niggas off. They be feel like, oh, I need to ask a nigga for $20 because that's a little bit amount of money. Most niggas will actually prefer for you to ask them for a large lump sum. And our homeboy even said that earlier. Like, they would prefer for you to ask them for a large sum because $20 that's a turn off that mean bitch you ain't got shit you don't have nothing and you don't have no, if you don't have $20 you're like a, that's asking for crumbs asking for $125 you're asking for crumbs. and what's gonna make them want that pussy because your pussy trash you can't even if you ain't even got $20 bitch your pussy your pussy ain't but not even that it's like to let and you let your phone your phone turn off to prove a point let me tell you something. Baby, let me let you know something real quick. I'm never gonna let my phone my phone turn off to prove a point. Oh, we both drunk. We, we are burned. Burn. <laughs> we, we, we are burned. Burn. We are the What the fuck is a burn? Let that burn. <laughs> but y'all don't know. But yeah, I'm never gonna let my phone turn off to prove a point to a nigga because at the end of the day, it might be a family emergency. Lex, not even a family emergency. Lex might be some. I need somebody, you. Somebody that really need me might need to talk to me or might need me to come through and fuck with right. them or need something. So I'm not my 
to ever ask somebody for so we gonna wrap this up so this is what I'm saying do not do not test you don't have to test a nigga if he wants to do something for you if a nigga wants to do something he gonna do it without a motherfucking test period if you feel like you gotta test a nigga for to do something for you then that's just not the nigga cause let me pour you all some game real quick I done it's, it's been a few niggas I ain't even gave up the pussy and for real I ain't saying I didn't give it up eventually but what I'm saying is I didn't give it up at that time and I had niggas giving me like Money. But that's like, the thing though. No but you have to, no but you have to, you have to set the standard. So you gotta let niggas know out the gate what you're expecting. Because guess what? If you fuck a nigga before you get anything, he's gonna be like, I already got the pussy. What I need to do this for? Cause like my homeboy Cass said, bitches be fucking out for three Patron margaritas, and you hoes is out of line. Out of line. We just, so, uh, so for all the wind down Wednesday ladies, that's not how you go about getting what you. And I'm not just saying be gold niggas. That's not what I'm saying. But I feel like a nigga should be a provider. That's what I'm saying. A nigga is not gonna provide for you if you're begging for your phone bill. That's one of the basic things. A nigga is not gonna provide for you if he feel like you can provide for yourself. So the thing is, I'm not gonna lie. I've been paying my phone bill since I was in fucking high school, bro. Like my mom was teaching me these things. High schoolers pay their phone bill. They do. You the audacity. I paid my phone bill in high school. That's why I got a job. I'm working at fucking Randall. Facts. Facts. Like y'all. I'm not y'all to I'm asking y'all to ask for a roof over your head cars businesses phone bills though that's what we telling y'all please take heed so I just had to get that straight so so mm, the, oh my mm, god this how get on my nerves with these fucking weak ass the bed the bed the bed the bed you heard what I motherfucking said the bed period so ooh <laughs> <laughs> so um our topic for this week is okay so i had a situation recently like very recently like last week oh god i was fucking I my nigga i was fucking my nigga yes. and he was choking me right mm. he was on top oh and my mouth was open because he was choking me so like i couldn't really breathe so he just dropped like two loogies in my mouth like, okay like Okay, he's wait, 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 time out. You have to define the difference between a loogie and spit. Cause oh, a loogie okay, is a loogie, like cold. You're right. Okay, you're right. A loogie is like, <sighs> yeah, it, it, it wasn't that. Was it was spit. He just dropped like some spit in my mouth like twice. And so, like, how did you feel? So I never had that happen to me before. But I'm not gonna lie, like I like you did, and I was no, like, I'm not so to think about it. Okay, so you liked it. I had to think about it. I feel like it made me uncomfortable. That's why I talked to you okay. about it first. And you were uncomfortable. It made me uncomfortable. And then after a few days, I thought about it and I was like, wow, but I had kind of liked it. Okay. I mean, it turned me on. So I feel like that's something I'm going to incorporate in my sex. Okay, so like, this is what this the sex topic is, is spit. Do you y'all like having, spit? You, when you're having sex, you're already exchanging fluids now. I like that shit. You love. I want a nigga to spit. You spit on my titties. Spit on this ass. Spit, spit in my mouth. mouth. Spit it. Spit it. Spit. Lick in your hair. Everything. I want to spit. I love the exchanging of fluids. I want to lick. You know I'm gonna lick your ass already. My spit already in your booty hole. You might as well put it in my mouth too. Oh damn. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. And I have been fucking. I've been fucking this nigga for like a year. Ooh. So, and this was the first time he ever did that shit to me. And you like that shit. It's hard to be on. So now from this point on, when we fuck, I'm going to be like, spit in my my mouth, mouth. daddy. Yeah, I am. I'm not going to lie. I love the exchange. Because it's not, I like it. To me, let me get a little deeper. breath always smells good. So it's just kind of like. Well, to me, it's a little bit deeper. It's not so much of the action of it. It's just more so the like, the thought. Like the exchange of our bodily fluids from my pussy juice to your dick juice my mouth your mouth is where our mouths are where we exchange and everything is just being look exchanged. at all the shit nasty I, I love it but I love this shit and, I'm all, and also okay so this is the thing too I feel like I kind of liked it too I didn't know that I liked it because nobody had ever did it to me before until recently mm-hmm. but I love when niggas spit on my pussy like when they be like but that's like a loogie like when they be like oh. I don't want no fucking loogie cause the, like my nigga cast it what niggas be having colds out but here. Oh my pussy. You pussy's cold too. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, my pussy don't cold. Bitch, that pussy be shivering. That I pussy, 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 puss
always Do not spit no fucking loogie baby. on my fucking pussy. Don't spit no loogie on my pussy. Now you can spit on this pussy. Don't you can spit. spit it on mine, baby. Don't spit no fucking. I like this. Ew! It be thick. You are disgusting. You are disgusting. Thick if thick. you want a loogie on your pussy, that's too fucking far. That's boogers. No, it's not. Do you know what? That's not. Are you serious? <gasps> when you. That's that. not. Okay, that's first a of all, First of all, bitch, if, if I'm fucking a nigga, he be like. Because that's what a loogie is, no, dummy. It's fucking not. Bro. What is a loogie, bro? <gasps> Luke, exactly that. Because that's coming from the nostril. Do you know that's all connected? Let me teach her some fucking science here. Cause my friend is not smart. That's why your pit sweating. And yeah, they fucking are cause it's fucking hot. I don't give a damn. You mad because you don't know basic fucking science. Bitch, yes, I do, but I like when they just and boogers. Okay, so you want boogers on your pussy? That's cool. Booger pussy? BP? That ain't Black Panther, that's booger pussy, bitch. Are you fucking serious right now? Yeah, you're you fucking really wild. You're disgusting and these hoes cannot be you are fucking I'm mad because I'm mad. At the end of the day, I love when niggas spit on my pussy. I love when they like spit in and they rub on it. Okay, that's a whole nother story, but so let us know. Do y'all like a little spit I like it. on that clip? Spit on everything. <laughs> spit on these titties. Spit on yeah, I'm a spitter. I like spit. Spit I on me, yeah. So let us know what y'all think. Do y'all like a little spit in your mouth? I'm a swallow. My, too. But my spit in my mouth, I'm gonna be like, yeah, yeah. So let us, so let us know. I guess the main <laughs> question. Normal on your body, but how do you feel about spit in your mouth? In your mouth, I like it. Dre likes it because I feel like kissing, like, but a lot of people like to kiss, so I feel like what's the difference though? It's no difference. It's, what's the difference between kissing and somebody and y'all exchanging? Because I'm sucking on tongues when I kiss. Me too. All I be doing. Ooh, all she got a close her eyes, y'all. This bitch is horny. Oh, big I, horny. Yeah, I gotta send a text. Okay, so let's. This, uh, so let us know what y'all think. We gonna move on to the bop of the week. What's your bop? Our box is the same thing, so you might as well. City girls from the 305, ghetto booty, booty, pretty face, big thighs, period. Y'all, girl code is coming out on Friday. But and I have about, never talk been about so single. Talk about slim flam, twerk, twerk, twerk. Oh. Okay, first of all, y'all right. sampled fucking, what's his name? Java, 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 Java. What's his name? Chopper. Chopper. Y'all sampled fucking I wanna Chopper, sample, bro. I want to sample with some twerk with Like, her. you ain't got a lot of ass, but I can work with her. Bro, that fucking fire. You fire. Chopper, bro. Chopper. Bro, like, that was a bop fire. back in the day. What? She ain't got a lot of ass, but I, but I can work, work with her. her. What? what? Period. So, everything they done did it for all you slim hoes. All you slim hoes. And then all the thick hoes. There's some thick hoes who can't shake it. Because me. For example. <laughs> Let's be honest. So, yeah, honestly, I feel like City Girls, wow. they got a good, what? I'm just amazed. Yeah, the single is fire. Y'all keep coming out with hits back to back. Twerk, that's twerk song is fire. Bop of the week. Free J. Free my what girl JT is, is fucking flame. So that's our that's bop, bop of the week. That's our bop of the week. Twerk is definitely our bop of the week, but Girl Code comes out on Friday. And I I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready I'm for ready. these anthems. I'm ready, I'm for, these ready for these anthems. Y'all know these pictures about to drop. The niggas, the niggas hate city girls. Cass hate city girls. Mm. Our homeboy Cass, he hates the city girls. Okay, so we're going to get to the item of the week. We're just going to do, of course, Savvy Lash. Savvy Lash. Um, I have on um Sabrina today. Very natural. And I have on, um, I actually have on Sabrina too. Twinsies. Twinsies. So, um, of course, y'all know coming up if you want to get your girl a cute baby. thing let me tell y'all what to do for your girl for the holidays get her a basket order some savvy lash lashes put like 10 of them holes in there she's gonna be so happy if your girl loves makeup and she wears makeup wear put her some savvy lash lashes in her basket this is the perfect idea it's the holiday season they're only five dollars and they're mink lashes and ain't not gonna be five dollars for much longer so yeah so take advantage of that take advantage baby Okay, so y'all, we're about to write this shit up because I'm drunk and I'm hungry. So. And I'm hot. Ooh, this sweater. I don't know why I'm sweating. Y'all, she sweating, kitchen. but y'all can't tell I'm sweating because I got this sweater on. But this sweater hot as fuck. So we love y'all. Like Thank y'all so much for tuning in. We have things that we're working on for Wind Down Wednesday. Thank y'all for tuning in and sticking with us. We love y'all. And Sabby Lash. And Sabby Lash. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Drea. 
Nicole. And, and we'll see y'all next week. Bye. Toodles.